How does all this stuff work? I think this panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa, too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Hmm wasn't easy. Dark and chilly, don't like either. But once I had started, I just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly, lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. Come on, Howell. It's not so hard. Ugh. Land. Finally. Land. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land. Real alien land. What do you mean? It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. So much rock. Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm and... Yes. Rock is okay. It's rock. Ah, oh, Wii U, it's just that the fedora... It's all metal. It's not real... ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? I mean, sure, but thanks. Walking on it is kind of... Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon. We'll get there. Wow. We're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow, what's gonna be there? It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is, and what... Are you okay, Howell? This... 
is your home? Well, not my. Our. Our place. <sighs> Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. So, this is the cave. It's... Whoa. Magical. So much space. Wee, what is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. take care of something but I'll be back soon oh sure should I wait somewhere yes at the waiting bench sounds cozy hello that means hi there I thought it might tell them I say hi back will do okay let's go sit cozy Howell back soon it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? Maybe it needs more calibrating. So, you come here often? Gosh, this reminds me of one time I was waiting in the all-water reception office. I was stuck in there with Nellie Hootsalot for an hour, and let me tell you, she was not a lot of hoots. Burp. Do you know Wii U? Gorp, orp, norp. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? How are you finding the weather in here? I think it's nice in here. Warm, but not clammy. And no sudden trots when you change rooms. Norp, norp. What's the latest news in the cave, then? Not too talkative, huh? Deep, deep. So, what are you waiting for? Burp. Ah, that. Well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. Oh, hi. Opa. Oh, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Opa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no. Ooh -ha. Opa.
Oh, hello. Data check. Ah, translator needs some more calibration, I think. Data chum. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm, can't understand you. Oh, um, am I talking too fast? What, in the cave? Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet, and maybe you'll have to explain. Wonder if you understand me. <laughs> it's unusual. Lumbly gloop? Or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here. Or... No. Oh, you uh, do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it? Or offering? <laughs> Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U. Hi. So, um, what are these things? Lupo. What do you say? Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. Supposed to be quiet here anyway. Just sit and gloopo. Wonder what gloopo is, or art. Maybe the things in the nooks. I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Oh. I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe? Shh. Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Hi. Uh, Here. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. There, little ones. Yes, Hello. come on this way. No. Follow us for tickety. Yeah.
like this? doing oh oh no am i are they is is this is it what what do you think is happening i'm getting a greeting ritual badly wrong <laughs> no you're just playing around with those cheeky kids i think they love you now what so i'm not offending everyone well you're not exactly being polite but I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick tickety anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Okay, I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Did you tell them I was coming? <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. There. Did a chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. The blue pearl be okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper doop. Thanks, will you? This one looks much better. Go on. Um, go on to do. Feed the crow up. Oh, man. Right there. Great. Come with. Come with. Now watch. Oh, trust me. I will. So we tie the uh, poisy like so. And then bubble fish. Wow, that's how you fish? Yep, bubble fish. Oh, but I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you. What is weird? Oh, uh, never mind. So, will you. 
I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Tidemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see why, right? Yes, but things just work like that here. It's not always how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm, how to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new min. It is a something that is nothing, but it's important to have. Right. So something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. What's this one? Um, well, the Zoop Soup, yes. Are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish, yeah. Is there somewhere nearby? Yes, yes, you see. What's happening now? Well, it's... Uh, the result is Lumberly Gloob. Oh, right, of course. Very tasty. Let's enjoy. Oh, I will. But shouldn't we pay or something? Dadachum. No, we don't really pay here. The food is free? It's not free, because it's all free. We help each other, and eventually it all evens out. No one really keeps track anyway. Wow, that's such a simple system. Dadachik, glad to see you enjoy. Always good to Dadachik with a new limb. Oh, I'm not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumberly glue. <laughs> I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. Let's eat. This looks surprisingly delicious. Yes. It's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond. And the blah, 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 blah. And then... And then <clears throat> uh, what? Uh, yes, yum, it's good for you. Oh, are you okay? Oh, sorry, will you? I zoned out, but I'm super okay. There's just so much that is so new. It's a bit overwhelming. Malgaraha. Was that a yawn or a fishy word? Oh, I thought you were watching the... Well... It's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing, but so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other, at least. Yes, I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. You're like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizzy bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing, but you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? Um, some people are more important. Remind me what is important. 
Um, take Moreau. She's cleverer than anyone. We all need her science. Ah, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Wee, this is making my head hurt. Then let's go. Next part of the tour. What is this place? I really couldn't figure it out. It's a library. What? There aren't any books. Not all books. Osmosbo. Will you? I'm gonna need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just that. So. Osmos is just knowing. That's the best I can do. And Osmosbo are those jellies. You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on, more to see. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now, you will hear. Oh, okay. I think I get it. <sighs> what an amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? I call it thrum. The, the song? Or the style of music? Well... Neither, really. The way we make music is more... in the moment. So, they don't practice? Is it a jam? I thought jam was for your toast. Yes, but it's also the word we use for when music is, um, improvised. Like, made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, with people watching, is thrum. Right, well... Whatever it is, I love it. And I love jam. I wish we'd brought some. Harold, are you there? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch. There's lots to see. Harold, I'm quite sure there is. But may I remind you, you're not there on holiday. Ah, I know. The particles. I'll get right on it. Speak to you soon, Professor. Good luck, Harold. Don't do anything I would do. Over and out. Wii you. that was Moreau, reminding us to check out the particles. Ah, uh, yes. Right this way. Here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. So cool. So what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? Um, what do you mean? Well, 
Hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. It's just there. We know the particles can be used for energy. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. Maybe you could bring up loads of particles at once. But we don't need more particles at once. Wow. Okay. So, it's never been explored? Well, I suppose there was that one Fleminum kid who explored it. What? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. We assume he's happy down there. And now that I think about it, there was one older Flumilim who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Okay. I think I'm gonna call Moreau now. How do you work this thing? Harold? Is that you? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me! Have you found the particles? Hi, Professor. Wii U says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. A hole? Can you get down there? Well, Wii U says a couple of Flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but... There is or there isn't? What's the problem? It's just that the books are... jelly. So, go to the library. I don't care if the books are jelly or custard. Find some information on it you can bring back. Okay, Professor. Wish me luck. Hello again, librarian. I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Hey? What are you saying? Oh, he's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Well, I believe so. You may need to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, great. So, uh... How do I read them? It's hard to explain, but just hold one close to your head and be calm. And not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Wii U, can you show me? Uh, um, it's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, Wii U, how do I read these things? How long? Actually, I can't. If it's hard to explain, I'll just watch. Read. I can't understand the jellies. What? But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time the letters in a word seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? 
Breathe deep. When your mind feels empty, stick your nose into it and remember what's in the jelly. Sure thing. We'll figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. What's that all about? Doesn't seem like this one tells us anything useful. was wild, but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all. stuff about anemone shrimps, but nothing about the crack. I think it's the one I'm looking for. This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. <laughs> Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. Practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Me? Could I possibly take a book? I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. You may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh, wait, never mind. Looks like I've got one for you here. Oh. Thanks. He says thanks. Well, I got that part. Bye. Hello, Harold? Professor, I managed to find a jelly that... Harold! What did we discuss about you not being on holiday? No, no, Professor. The books here are jellies. You have to... Well, anyway, I found one, and I had to kind of sniff it. And I have info on the crack. Harold, I know you're excited, but please can you stop talking such nonsense? I'm not. The, the librarian says I can bring the jelly back to the fedora. 
Just bring the thing back and we'll try to make sense of it. And you. Will do, Professor. Back shortly. It's getting late. Let's go to my place to relax. That sounds fun. But how do you know what time it is? Can't you feel the magnetics? The, the what? Feel how? Oh. Well, the slight changes in the glow combined with the slight heaviness we feel in our toes because of the lateness. Okay. I mean, that's crazy cool, but I don't think it's going to apply to us humans anytime soon. Shame. Well, I feel it's tea time. Come on. There, Nautilo. Meet Howell. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Nice flowers. He says hello, and he likes your flowers. Thanks, but they're not flowers. They're more, uh, they're more like sponges with a hard lower root. They need water, but if they're underwater, they're not sponge anymore. Um, they're very loyal. I think they're great. Enjoy. He's impressed, and he says he hopes you continue to gain pleasure or satisfaction from your continued interactions with them. He said all that. Yes. Sorry, this translation business is confusing. <laughs> Thanks, Wii U. Anyway, come in, come in. Nice place. Thanks. My home is your home. Take a look around. Is this coral? Yep. I found it when exploring outside the cave. Like they probably say I shouldn't. Why would they say that? We're supposed to be happy with everything here. And I am. It's really swell. But? I think that it's also swell to see other swell things outside of the cave. No one else ever leaves? I don't think so. Wouldn't it be sad if we'd never met? Of course, it'd be. I don't even want to think about it. Mind you, I don't want to think about how we met either. <laughs> and what is this? That's Juna. It's a skull? It's a friend. Must make for a one-sided conversation, but okay. You should say hi. Hi there, Juna. Is that a sneaker? Sneaker? Is that what it's called? I've been wondering for ages. It's what made me want to explore further. I wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, it's a sneaker. You wear it on your... Well, not your feet. Human feet. Oh! Do you want it back? <laughs> I don't mean it's mine. Did you show it to anyone else? No. They wouldn't even have cared. For them, nothing exists beyond the cave. But where did they come from? Maybe long ago, from far away. Sometimes we need to get into the waters just outside, but never to go far. They just sit around and stay happy. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I know. But once you know there's more, happy isn't the same, is it? Mm. True. I guess I haven't been happy for a while. But I guess I can be quite good at calm. Is calm nice? I think no calm is the reason I'm no good with the jellies. Yeah. I don't think about it too much. You just have to think, what does it matter? What does what matter? No matter, no what. Ah, I see. Calm is not all the time, 
But when you sit and forget about yourself. Oh. Hmm. So I forget I'm real? But what if I don't remember again? <laughs> I can't say I've ever had that problem. Thanks, Howell. I think I can try calm much better now. <sighs> this has been a pretty crazy day. Yes. Let's end it and regain consciousness in a new one. Yeah. Sleep sounds good. Night, will you? Wakey, wakey, Howell. Mm. Morning, will you? Well, you probably don't have mornings, do you? Mm, not like on the fedora, but there is still a right time to get up. How long have you been awake? A little while, but then I had a wander around and a nap. Did you sleep well? Yeah, surprisingly well. Feels so peaceful here. Yes. Always something clanging on the ship. Anyway, come on. Submarine time. going to be strange getting back to the fedora. Yeah. It'll be nice to enter it not through a filter, though. <laughs> yes. And we'll be back soon with the others. What do you think the others will think of it here? Huh. The others. Yeah. Professor, 
professor. Yes, Harold. I know you're excited. It's more than that. It's wow. Everything. I mean, the jelly books, the beautiful lights. But we used to... And then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they weren't freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! Interesting. Interesting indeed. What? Who? When? That, Harold, is what I was trying to tell you. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean... Yes, <clears throat> indeed. I understand. Good work. Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now get cracking. <laughs> 